Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Seems like I made it to the boss alright. Okay, this boss is uh, totally boss, uh, not really much of a danger actually. Um, Cure 2, nothing, region, region X. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Again, possibly something better to choose here than Mantonia, but particularly since it doesn't do much damage to the boss itself, but <coughs> we've got tomorrow for that anyway, so whatever. And now I have a team of three berserkers and one healer. Good enough, I suppose. Really easy to play at any rate. <laughs> Even blindfolded. I suspect just about anyone could uh, use this strategy to win, so. <laughs> Since, after all, it, his damage just isn't all that high, really. Especially when his arms are gone. Shrapnel's about the worst thing he has. Atomic Ray and any electrical moves? Are there even electrical moves? Maybe I, that was a waste of time to protect against, but, uh... Either way, Atomic Ray... He doesn't work on, uh... Umaro or Gao. And it doesn't do much to Setzer either, because he's decked out in Force Gear, so... <laughs> really, it's just Locke that's taking any damage at all from Atomic Ray, and Locke's got tons of HP. I mean, not as much as Umaro, I guess, but... That blizzard move just rips the arms apart, so... Meanwhile, the throwing move rips the boss apart. Locke can only hit the boss for any damage at all, really. But... It's okay, the... Since he does... He's not too dangerous, like, he can... Single target shrapnel can be bad. Uh... Delta hit can also be bad, but... Because those things can stack up sometimes. Although I suppose that's less the case since I'm using Cure 2. In my initial strategy I was just using the slots. And I thought, why not use Cure 2 since that's a little bit safer. It heals a little bit more, it doesn't use attacking moves any uh, of the time. But when Setzer runs out of MP, I'm just going to let him stay there. I'm not going to reheal his MP, I'm just going to start using the slots. Because by that point, the boss should pretty much be dead. So... Hopefully between Umaro and Gal, they can keep the arms down pretty well. And whatever damage happens to the main boss happens. The only downside to killing the arms so many times is that I'm essentially just wasting a bunch of damage that could be hitting the boss, but... So it'll take a bit, but... If Ned hits Setzer... Uh, he's got haste, so the stop should wear off fairly fast. Setzer's, Setzer's got the sprint shoes on. It didn't hit Setzer there regardless, but... Everyone else it'll inflict slow too, so... With Setzer, uh, if Setzer gets hit by net, somebody has a chance to die. If somebody else gets hit by net, they're inflicted with slow, so... Not super nice either way. Net's the, probably the most dangerous thing in this fight. Thankfully, every time Setzer uses Cure 2, I can tell if somebody's died or not. Using the same methodology I used during the Atma Weapon fight, but this is a lot less tense. There's not much going on here. I'm pretty much just, every time I hear the burner noise, I'm going like, A, A, R, A. Like it's some sort of blitz input. The win the battle blitz. That, sets, that only Setzer can use for some reason. Since, since everyone has region on it already, Setzer's Cure 2 is essentially a full reheal, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's not quite, especially in Umaro's case, but... Even with all the attacks flying around, it's not that bad. 
I almost get a gun with more physical defense than some people. But... Okay, let's see what happened here. Did Sister get hit by that? Nope. I mean, best case scenario for Net is it just misses entirely, but... I can't count on that happening all the time. So yeah, I've pretty much run out of things to say for this fight. Not, It's not too complicated, so... Good thing Setzer's uh, up and at the ready, because that just did a lot of damage. But, at the same time, even though it does a lot of damage, it's not gonna kill someone, really, if it's a uh, multi-target. Region will probably heal back a lot of that by his next turn, because I'm getting four times the region, essentially. Although Setzer's region is garbage, because his stamina's garbage, but... Not much I'm gonna bother doing about that. I could have equipped him with the, uh, the the turret or something like that to boost his stamina a tiny bit, but I think the ten of eight from the Avenger is gonna do more than that. So I can't tell when Lot crits. So whatever advantage he's getting from the Santetsuka, I have no idea when it's coming in handy or not. For some reason it felt, it almost felt like it feels like it sounds different when I actually see the crit, but when I don't see the crit I can't tell at all. So it's kind of strange that way, I'm not sure why it feels like it sounds different even though it clearly doesn't. That tackle does a lot of damage to something. They still haven't lucked out and killed anyone yet, so... <laughs> and since it runs out of MP, things get a tiny bit more dangerous, but... At the same time... The, uh... Battle's pretty much over by that point, so... It's not that bad, I guess. It's a mixed curse. Perhaps mixed blessing. That just shreds the arms. 10,000 damage between the two of them if they're both alive. And still hits the boss for a decent amount. Nearly like two thirds of what Locke hits for, and that's all. And he only hits the boss like one third of the time for that much. And that pretty much just undid whatever the boss did in the last few turns, so. This battle feels uh, a lot shorter with gratuitous use of the fast forward button, which I tend to use while testing a lot. This battle does take a while, but as long as there's not really much danger, I don't really care that much. The tough bosses will be at the end of this place. Something tells me I didn't need that at all, but... Better use it and not need it than need it and not use it. Oh, someone's gonna need it this time. That does quite a bit of damage, actually. The thing about Setzer's slots when I'm forced to use them is that even if they're attacking, they at least pretty much... They, they do a lot of damage stacked up with whatever Namaru and Gao do to the arms, so... Thankfully even a multi-target Cure 2 can heal about as much as a single-target Shrapnel on me, so... Hopefully that wasn't Setzer. At this point... 
if it my character Zoran sets are pretty much on slow anyway, so at this point if Setzer gets hit with that it's just a disadvantage. Really. Locke's probably the best, because he's putting up the least damage right now. Since he's kind of awkwardly a Phoenix build that has only like a couple Phoenix levels, so. Which is most of the reason why I really don't care for Phoenix Lock that much, because I barely get any actual Phoenix on him. And especially in this run, though. Like, in this run, I. And it's hard to do MP management. The last thing I want is a to use a character that is pretty much all about MP management. So... At this point, the Phoenix is really just coming in handy for absurd amounts of HP and uh, allowing him to use auto-crit weapons all the time, which doesn't matter right now, admittedly, because the Zantet Sukin is not an auto-crit weapon. But it hits all the time, so I'll take that. Since Esther hasn't even been stopped once, I suspect the boss is less close to, will be less close to dead when he runs out of MP than he was during my test run. Especially if uh, my other characters have been attacking the wrong body parts, but then again, I didn't have the Blizzard Orb on Umaro last time. I had the completely wasteful Life Bell, which is useless because I'm not having trouble keeping region on my characters since nothing he has inflicts seizure or removes regen. So, this is pretty much just a straightforward damage rush except for the stop. Which is part of the reason why it's so easy, really, because status effects can be pretty dangerous in this run. Unlike normally when I find that it's just so easy to use a remedy. I don't like the remedy spell for the same reason I don't like the life spell. If somebody's on a stats, I want them off right away. <laughs> But using a remedy item is not really a big deal at all, so. Hopefully this is the sort of case where hitting the arms randomly sometimes and hitting the boss randomly sometimes all works out in the end and everything ends up being a nice healthy mix of offense and caution, but... Oh, sensor's out. We're going for the slots now. And now I can just hold A for the rest of the fight. Unfortunately this means I also can't tell if people die, but... Lego morph there, so the characters are still probably feeling okay. Blackjack's just another source of damage and hits all three with no splitting, so. I had one test run that actually went bad enough for me to lose, like, almost right away. Essentially, he said the boss pretty much did nothing but shrapnel sets or single target. I was like, what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'd prefer that happening there than on a real attempt, though. Because there I have fast forward as well. Blackjack. Uh, the, the one arm seemed to spawn <coughs> just before he used that, so I suspect somehow that that Blackjack only hit one of the arms, or just the boss, if, uh, if it turns out that the other arm was already dead. But...
guess that was single target on an arm. Better have Gao single target on the arm and Umaro do something useful than... I... Gao hitting the boss or using gouge and Umaro wasting his time on an arm. I haven't heard Umaro throw anyone in a while. That worries me. Oh, there we go. I like that because it's quite a bit of damage, and I'm pretty sure both the arms were dead there, so it was probably against the boss. Well, uh, hopefully Setsu uses like a morph this turn, because... My character just kind of took a beating. But at the same time, even if he uses Blackjack, the uh, region will be healing me in the meantime. Especially since using Blackjack throws out another animation, regardless. Well, uh, Umaro hit the arm, that kind of sucks. Don't want Umaro to hit the arm. I want that to hit the arm instead. Firestorm. Two people are protected against that, so whatever. Since Umaro's got the Blizzard Orb after all. And of course it's not going to do anything to Setzer either. Nothing appreciable anyway. Not with that Force Armor he's got on. Hopefully the boss is close to dead soon, because this has been going on for a while. Pretty sure the arms aren't on the playing field right now, but that'll change in a moment, probably. Delta hit. Delta hit's kind of annoying because the worst thing that can happen is somebody just happening to kick the bucket if they get focused enough, but... Boss is gonna be, gotta be almost dead soon. Yep! <laughs> Pretty much called that one. Uh... So, first boss in Kefka's Tower out of the way. Certainly not the most elegant strategy, I suppose, but... It worked exceedingly well, so... Not gonna complain. There we go. No battles on the way to him or to the save point, so that's nice as well. Sets her with that 2 MP. I'll probably fix that with a tent in any second now, but. See you next time.